Hi, my name is Grzegorz and I work in KPMG Advisor in Poland uh, in the Data Intelligence Solutions team. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed uh, SVG images and shapes into a Power BI table to create a meaningful and visually appealing uh, KPIs. So, let's first delve into the business scenario for this tutorial. Uh, we have store names, uh, which uh, we stand for the store names of our company, uh, and we have uh, information on transactions made in these stores and uh, satisfaction, uh, which comes uh, from a satisfaction survey that was run in the shops. Uh, so, I have already created a table which hosts the store names, the sum of sales, which is just a simple measure uh, which aggregates uh, individual transactions made in a shop to a sum per shop. And I have also an average satisfaction measure which does the same, uh, but it aggregates to an average uh, of uh, individual satisfaction scores from a satisfaction survey instead. Now, let's see what we can create uh, with our SVG code and measures. The first KPI uh, is a KPI that represents a uh, percentage of uh, the store's sales in the total sales of uh, all shops. Uh, it also features a bar chart, uh, which gives a nice uh, visual representation of this data. And we have also a percentage uh, which means that this $120,000 uh, stands for 90% of total uh, sales amount from all shops. So, that's the first KPI. Let's see the next one. This one is just a nicely formatted um, percentage uh, of total sales made uh, in this shop. So, this 19% corresponds to this 19%, uh, but it just looks... Uh, nicer than a plain simple 90% that you would put in a table. Uh, the next uh, KPI uh, is uh, one, one that comes from the survey. So, it aggregates uh, the satisfaction scores uh, which you have here. It uses exactly the same measure uh, for calculating the average satisfaction and depending on the satisfaction score, uh, it uh, returns different emoji emojis uh, of how happy the customers in this particular store are. So, as you can see, you can not only return different numbers, but you can also return different shapes uh, in a SVG table, and you can also import them straight from a file, uh, which I have done for this uh, emoji KPI. And as you can see, they are also in different colors, depending on uh, the score. And the last uh, sample KPI that I have prepared uh, is a combination of uh, the two previous ones. So it, previous, it features a satisfaction score, which is rounded up uh, to the first decimal number, and the color of the, the circle uh, var varies depending on how high the satisfaction is. Okay, so now that you have seen the uh, use cases, I would like to uh, quickly go through uh, the code uh, which stands behind this, uh, these KPIs. So, let's go uh, into the measure code for the percentage of total sales, because it's uh, an easy example. First, uh, I calculate the sum of sales per this particular shop uh, in a row and I uh, call the variable just sales, then I calculate the total amount, so uh, total amount of sales per all shops, so that I can later calculate the share of uh, the, uh, this particular store's sales in the total sales of all uh, of uh, our shops. Uh, now, th this was just some standard Power BI uh, measure creation and variables, uh, now let's go to the SVG uh, code, which is the most interesting in this part. Uh, so we will start from here. Here are the uh, SVG uh, co 
code lines which uh, create our shapes. So the first line, the, the one with circle, uh, creates our circle, which is the background. Then uh, this uh, CEX and CY stand for the center of, uh, of the circle, R stands for the radius, and stroke is just the stroke line uh, color uh, and fill stands for the background color of this circle. Uh, so you can just assign uh, these colors with an, uh, with an, an RGB color palette or from the hex palette, uh, it's up to you. I used RGB for this, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. And then I assign uh, text uh, which stands for our share uh, to the center of it. So the code is really simil uh, similar. Uh, the only big difference, uh, there are two big differences, just that I have the text anchor middle, which centers my text uh, so that it's always in the middle. And I assign uh, a variable uh, to display the share, which uh, which I have calculated previously so that it's always different depending on the calculated uh, percentage of sales uh, for this particular shop. Now, you, uh, you have to uh, input some standard beginning of the code. Uh, you can just use this one. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you put in width and height here because uh, it's always scalable. SVG uh, stands for Scalable Vector Graphics, so no matter how big or how small they are, they will always retain the the good uh, look of them. They will not they will not be big pixels if you enlarge the image, even it was even if it was created as a really small one, small one. And then assign uh, this uh, little line of code to the end of your SVG code uh, because it marks the end of the code. Now that you have all the code ready, you need to return all of it. I do it with three variable for variables, which stand for, of course, beginning, middle, and end, uh, because it makes the code readable and pretty easy to understand. Uh, then you can add this to uh, your table or metrics also, but you need to remember to change the data category of your measure, because otherwise, uh, if it's set to something else than image URL, for example, to uncategorized or text, it will just return plain text. And that's not what you really want. Okay, now let's see how we can change the size of this, uh, of this KPI. You need to go to formatting, then grid, go to the very bottom, and here you have image height. You can manipulate this parameter. Let's uh, make it smaller now. And as you can see, it got smaller. You can also enlarge it. Uh, and now, uh, I would like to discuss the one and probably only disadvantage of this solution. Uh, the problem is that this image, uh, it's actually an image, uh, this KPI, is always a square. So if you adjust the image height to be uh, bigger here, then it will also increase its width. Uh, and it doesn't always look good if you have multiple uh, rows, uh, a lot of rows which stand, for example, for uh, the invoice numbers and then the payment dates, due dates, and so on. Uh, it just will not look good because it will enlarge the uh, rows uh, and there will be less data fit into your table. But this is probably the only disadvantage. Uh, when it comes to advantages, uh, of the solution. One great advantage is that it is very fast as it is still a standard visual in Power BI. So the performance is really unaffected as opposed to the other uh, counterpart of the solution, which is uh, Infographic Designer, which can really slow down your uh, report. Okay, uh, I strongly invite you to uh, download the Power BI file, uh, check how these uh, all of these measures are created and formatted. I have uh, commented uh, all of the uh, measures so that they are easily, un uh, so that uh, what happens there is, is easily understandable uh, and um, you can learn something from it, hopefully. Okay, 
that's the, it for now. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial.